Hey guys, we're going to be playing some Fast and Light for you today. I know this game came out ages ago, well, 2012, it's not too long ago, but this is a game I've been really enjoying the past couple of weeks because I've actually managed to pretty much defeat it and I was quite happy with that. So I'm going to show you guys the easiest, well, in my opinion, the easiest way to defeat this game and beat the bastard rebels at the end of it. So let's, uh, let's get my ship. I have quite, I, I think I've got all the ships on that, so I can't quite remember. But uh, the best one to do it with, in my honest opinion, is the Mantis ship, okay? So you may be looking at this thinking, oh dude, what the fuck, it's got no weapons, but don't worry, okay? Because you have a four-man teleporter. This, now let's just rename the ship quickly. Uh, rename. Uh, what should we, uh, okay, let's just name the people first. Actually, no, let's just, there we go, the nameless one. We'll stick with our roots. If you've ever watched any of my FTL videos before, you've seen that I've done that, so. Oh, can we change, oh, we can't change what it looks like. Let's rename him to Jack the Ripper. And we'll rename this one to Mr. Stabby Slicey. Man. Shit. <laughs> That'll do. Mr. Stabby Slicey. Okay, so um, what I was on about. The four-man teleport. Basically, if you have a whole crew of Mantis people, you can send them across the enemy ships. And a four... <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and a four-man invasion of Mantis people will literally wipe out anybody, Okay. So it's pretty, it's really strong to be honest, but uh, I'm going to do this on easy mode because if anyone has played this before, they will realize that normal is not like normal, it's like expert, it's like Asian level mode. It's just not, you, it's impossible. I've done it once and that took like too long, too much of my time. It wasn't nice. So what's wrong with my ship? Why don't it want to move? Oh, of course, that's why. Derp. So if I put uh, him there for now, see, the problem is you need more than two crew members because you have to have someone on your engine to give you an evade chance. Because this ship pretty much runs with that. You need shield and evade for this ship. Otherwise, your Mantis people will just get fucked over very, very, very early. So, let's jump. We'll head straight to a distress signal. And here we go. Once you arrive at the location of the distress course, villain ship hails you. Thank you for responding to our beacon. IFTL navigation has gone haywire and we can't plot a course to the nearest depot to get it fixed. Could you lead us there? Sure, Rockman. I should start doing voices, shouldn't I? Do you want me to do voices? I'll try voices. If I sound like I'm having a stroke or anything weird, I will stop voices. So, okay, your scans for your mining base, no life signs. Uh, well, that's useless. See, the thing about this ship is you have to explore a lot, but if you come across any automated ships, you're instantly... F oh, for fucks! If you come across any automated ships, you are really, really screwed because you can't attack them. So your best chance, until you get any sort of weapons, is to just wait it out. And that's it. But... Oh god, the solar flare's gonna hurt. I could try and disable the weapons. Go on. Bam! Okay, hopefully that will destroy everything on this ship. If not, was Okay, so, yeah, a bit more about the ship. Christ. Mantis man, run away! <laughs> so yeah, a bit more about this ship is comes with a four-man teleporter. It also comes with cams. It also comes with two bars of shield. Oh, that one hasn't actually got. Oh, there we go. It's fine. Oh god, damn it! This is just not going well on the slightest. Ah, uh, this is the problem with the Mantis ship. You get screwed really early. Until you get like to sector four, you just keep. Di well, you don't die, but you take a, a lot, a lot, a lot of damage. It's not good. I said a lot three times because that's how much I stress. It's important. <laughs> oh, and Mantis men suck at fixing stuff. So the sooner you get an MG, the better. Because MG are insane. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Okay, I actually managed to kill a drone ship, but see, I took quite a bit of damage. That's more than I needed to on this, really. So, let's charge up the FDL, jump the shit out of here. Uh, actually, I suppose, Mr. is that Mr. Stabby Slicey? I have no idea. Yeah, Mr. Stabby. Oh, Mr. Stab. Because he's going to be known from now on and Ripper. <laughs> Damn it. I suppose that's cool. Okay, let's jump. Just because solar flares are mean. Uh, let's go there. So, yeah, the main aim of the Mantis people is just is to uh, just go around mad. Okay, this is good. And especially while I'm pirate ship approaches you. Hand over one of your crew members and the rest of you can go free unharmed. Draw straws and surrender one? <laughs> Did you like my voice? Or uh, we will never surrender one of our crews to your slavers. Well, if you choose that, it means you get to fight them and then steal one of the crew. So I'm going to do that. 
these are full health, apart from Ripper. Ripper's a bit low. So let's send them to a teleporter. Right, so they've got missiles. This ship also comes with a defense drone, which, as you probably know, or might not know, it shoots down any incoming missiles, so your shields are up high and nothing gets destroyed. It's great. So, uh... Without further ado, let me show you how the Mantis people murdered the galaxy. Mantis people! <laughs> this is literally all you do. You send them across and you just murder everybody on board. That is all you do with Mantis people. And it's really effective, because... I mean, look. Look how effortless this is. I mean, he may be about to die, so we might have to run him around the ship a little bit. It's fine. <laughs> oh, yes, there we go. It appears the slaves did not survive. Ah, oh, shit. You find their burnt bodies in a hole, but before you return to your ship, you hear faint noise in the walls. You break off one of the latches, and a slave falls out of the hidden compartment. Coughing once recomposed, the slave officer to join your crew. See, there you go. Mantis people just destroy everything, and they get your bonus stuff. And now we have a human. Reinhardt! Reinhardt shall go down in history. No, he won't. He's going he's gonna to die pretty soon, I can tell. It always seems whenever I get a new crew member on this game, they die within the next five seconds. So, fingers crossed for this one. <laughs> he could just... He, yeah. So, yeah. The Mantis ship is strong as shit without having any weapons. I mean, look. They're dead. They're gone. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> And another big advantage of it is um, the slug ships on this. They have the oxygen in a room they can't reach. So you can send the Mantis people over, destroy the oxygen, teleport them back, and then just let them um, asphyxiate. Suffocate. And you get an achievement for it as well. So I'm a bit, I'm a bit of an achievement whore. So what can you do? But now I can leave the Mantis people in the teleport are ready to go. And the, uh, the human who's crap at fighting just sitting on the... Oh, God. Oh, no. See, this, this is why... Uh, Mantis ship falls off because you can't fight automated ships. The reason why, you jump across to there, there's nothing. There's no oxygen. Because obviously it's robots. So, you might be able to destroy something, but you suffocate like, all your crew in the process. It's, it's quite amusing, actually, when you fail that way. Another funny way you can fail with the Mantis ship is um, enemies on this, if they don't want to fight you, they can charge their FTL drive to um, jump away from you. And if you have Mantis people on board their ship as they do this, or anybody, they teleport away with, uh, they teleport away with your crew. And I sent like a four-man crew over once to um, kill the ship quick. They jumped with all my crew members, and it was game over. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's the most retarded way to die ever. It sucked. But well, this game, this game can be really harsh to you at times. Literally for no reason whatsoever. It's, it's, not, it's not nice. It's a mean game. Come on, man, this ship, charge up. Speaking of, actually, uh, the man ship, you want to max your shields and your engines to give you the most dodge chance possible. Because the majority of the time, no one apart from one person is going to be on your ship looking after... Oh. Agree to rescue the store. Wait, I've got two quest markers. Shit, I haven't been to either. Um, okay, let's do this quick. <laughs> Damn it. Engage the rebel and rescue the space dock. Okay, so these ships there's normally three people on, which my Mantis people can handle. And is that a missile or not? You can only tell by looking at weapons what they are, but I'm not quite sure. So let's send a boarding drone on. Bam! So now it's essentially three on three. I think they've still got their captain in the ship though, which might be an issue. Uh, but just look. Oh, he may die, but this guy's not focusing him. It's great. This is fine. That's it. The outpost hails you. Thank you. I don't know what you did to anger the rebels, but they're ready to kill us. So I'll show you our goods and patch up your hole. Oh, sweet. Uh, what should I get, guys? Defense two. Oh, power required four. No, that's... we'll seek out an attempt. To... No, there's nothing I want. We'll just get some fuel. And. Mantis pheromone. Oh yeah, my movement speed's increased by 25%, which for Mantis people is really strong. Whoop. <laughs> this ship is so fun, you just literally go around murdering the galaxy. It's great. Oh, I forgot to do my voices. I'll do voices next time, I promise. <sighs> but, uh, the formula for this ship, pretty simple. Teleport, jump over, murder everybody, jump back, repeat. Win. And then, the thing is, the final boss as well, you can do it on him. 
You just walk up to the final boss, teleport over, destroy all the people manning the weapons, destroy every other people on the ship, apart from one, and then you just fuck him over. Uh, try to be a hero. And let's just repeat. Send him to the shield and send the board to over. When playing this game, it's worth trying to note what weapons they have equipped. So this one has two lasers, which for my shields, that's fine. Oh, one of my man's people's about to die, actually. Don't die. Shit. This one, the game can be harsh to you. So now what I need to do is teleport them back really quickly. Send them to the med bay. <laughs> Heal them up. And then send him over again. Unless that boarding drone kills him. Oh, will it? It's going to, isn't it? Oh, beast. Leaving the ship dead in space, you encourage... You scrounge what you can from the ship before contacting its former free. See, this is a good thing. If you scrounge their ship... It sounds skanky. If you um, teleport on their ship, kill everybody, you get so much more scrap and rewards from it. It's really good. So you get rich really quick. You can buy anything you need. Like the last time I did the run with this ship, I had all the power-ups and everything. It's great. Oh, I've been ambushed. Lovely. I swear the rebels ambush you everywhere. They just don't give a fuck. See this ship. I'm not sure if that's a missile, but they've got a breach. So, uh, I think. Oh well. Come on, mantis people, kill. See, they just die so easily. Mantis people are the best fighters in the game. And when you send a crew of them across, people just die. See, done. <laughs> With the crew dead, you're able to scrounge again. Let's take uh, six fuel and 30 scrap. That's a lot. So the best thing to upgrade on this, engines. There we go. More dodge chance, the better. And if you have someone manning the engines, it's great. But at the minute, we haven't got enough crew to really do that. So... This ship gets really effective when you have eight crew, because you have one on the weapons, one on shields, one on engine, and then one on the captain's deck, and then four teleporting across. And there's a drone you can get, which if I get it, I'll replace it with the boarding drone. It basically goes around fixing everything on your ship when it breaks. So... Oh, this is gonna... Oh, I'm gonna have to fight a rebel, aren't I? Shit. Uh, trade one fuel for five missiles. I'll... Yeah, I suppose. Oh. <laughs> bit like there, sorry. Oh no, damn it. Damn it, 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 damn it. Ah, oh, damn it. These people are strong. And they've got a med bay. The problem with the Mantis crews is you can't destroy them if they have a med bay. But these ones have double weapons. Jesus Christ. This thing's armed to the tits. Oh, watch that double weapon. That's good. Oh, it's a triple laser. Fuck. Okay, so times like this, when the rebels approach you, you're not armed. Re you're not armed enough to kill them yet. So what you have to do is just wait for the FDL drive and run away like a little bitch. It's all you have to do. Oh god, he's hit my oxygen. So all you can do is just wait and try not to die of suffocation. But <laughs> that should be pretty apparent by this game by now. Uh, um, I'll probably do a few episodes of this, if I'm honest, guys, because FTL is a game that I have a real charm for. It, I, I really enjoy this game, so... If you don't like it, I don't mind. Just... yeah. <laughs> oh, they broke my drone. But let's jump. Next sector. Oh, do I go to the Mantis or the Incha? I don't like Nebulas. I never have, because uh, Nebulas get rid of the vision in your ship. And... oh, that music is awesome. Boom, boom. Uh, nebulas um, break the security system on your ship, so you can't see anything. So intruders can get on, stuff like that. But, uh, what's that beepy noise? Um, anyway, in addition, there's also fights where you get half your power cut. Which, if you have as many things as I have to run, like the teleporter, the dodge chance, the shields, and the um, rocket deflectors, you end up having to turn off your oxygen and stuff like that, and things become very... You have to micromanage it a lot. You have to keep switching the power between systems so you don't die, but keeping your ship to survive is really... A rebel ship guarding the beacon. You order a pursuit course and prepare to scratch up one more. Ah, oh, see, this one's got a rocket, so this is where Defense 1 comes in handy. And now the Mantis people go over to a shield, and we just fuck stuff over. See, I'm thinking he's got three crew. One's on the bridge still. But if we kill these two, 2v1, what are the odds? So, 
And that's the great thing about that drone. Any rockets that come near, it just shoots them straight down. There we go. Here's the final guy, 2v1. Look how quickly his health's going down. He is dead. <laughs> Crew dead, you steal what you can. 36 scrap. Which at this at this stage of the game, getting 36 scrap from one fight is actually quite a lot. But later on you get like 70 up pods, so you'll see that later though. Come on, heal up you bastards. Let's get out of here. I can turn that off now. <laughs> it's just stuck. Uh, guy, you left me out here. And let's jump. I want to go to a store, because if I can get a cloaking device soon, that would be quite cool. It's not necessary, but cloaking... Oh, actually no, cloaking is necessary for the final boss. I'll stress, I can't stress that enough, because um, the final boss has this, fate, um, has this thing called a power surge. And what that does is it pretty much just um, rips through your shield and damages the shit out of you. It's the reason why many people lose this game, because they can't handle that one power surge. Uh, you locate the source of a distress call, a nearby human mining colony. An unknown disease has spread via... Uh, they're trying to set up a quarantine to migrate the spread of disease, but any lack of enforcement right seems likely. Um, the problem with sending crew in is they normally catch the disease, and I can't... Uh, fuck. The problem with the Mantis ship is you can't risk losing any Mantis people. Because if I lose a single one, it's game over. You can't do it. Oh, fuck. Another AI ship. Oh, it's charging its FTL. It wants to jump as well. This is fine. It's got a missile, though, so... But yeah, if you lose one Mantis person, your whole strategy just fails. Because you need the damage from these two. Because if you look at them now, they're already almost level 1 in fighting. So, that's really good. But if you lose one of them, you can't kill anything. And you just have to let it die, or try and find another Mantis people as soon as you can. Because humans aren't the best fighters. Rockmen are kind of alright, but they're... You just use them for the health to tank damage, really, so... It's a shame we don't have any healers in this, some people. I just broke my alarm clock. Oh! Hang on, what's going on? Where's my shields? Oh, it's fine. <laughs> I just done goofed. Jump him and go on. Jump away, you little bastard. There we go. That's what I mean. You can have your crew stuck on it when you jump like that. It's really funny when they jump away. It's like, come back! Right, we need to explore a bit more. We need more people. Adair and Lacton still smoking Mantis vessel. The battle must have been recent. Is surviving crew been aboard? The surviving crew been aboard? Prepare for fight. Shit. Oh, God. They want to fight in my med bay? They can fight in my med bay. This is where you win, because you, if you have people who want to fight you, try and bait them to your med bait, because it heals you up perf well, almost perfectly, and they just die, as you can see now. I'm taking no hits, because the med bait's turned on, it's great. It's the easiest way to fight any invaders. And there we go, and now he's got level 2 in fighting, so not bad. Right, he started level 2, so... Uh, send him back there. Send these back there. That was relatively easy. <laughs> Mantis people! Murdering the galaxy from the Mantis people! That's the Mantis voices from now on. The rebel ship approaches closely. Personally, says the captain, I have stuck with the Federation, but I'm a soldier, sir, and I'm no use without a war to fight. Raise your shields and your penises. Sorry, that wasn't called for. Um, he has no rockets, so boarding drone away. And Mantis people. The awkward moment when the shit, when the boarding drone hits the same thing you're trying to hit. Because it starves the room of oxygen and it kills you. It's fine, I'm doing alright. I'll kill these quick. I'll bail out of here. I'll go for here. I'll start taking out the weapons. Hopefully that guy should come over. Because, yeah, I'm starving that room of oxygen. And if that guy carries on fighting that, he's an idiot. Oh, my game's lagged a bit. There we go. It's fine. Everything's fine. So yeah, I think we'll get to the end of this sector and call it there. And then we'll get to the end of it in the next few. With the crew dead, you're able to rob them again. <laughs> Mantis people are just the biggest crooks in the galaxy. It's great. You see what I mean? Most people would be like, what? You have no weapons? How the fuck are you supposed to do that? Well, quite easily, it seems. Although, to beat the final boss, there's a weapon which I got... Well, my last run of the Mantis ship, I got on my first encounter. I was really happy with. It's um, you need a breach missile, which it goes through. It's a missile that just appears on their ship, 
goes through all shields, does massive damage to the um, thing you target, and it also puts a hole in the hull. So if you can get that, really useful. And you, you, you like, yeah, you definitely need it for the last boss because the last boss has four bars of shield, which are just impossible. So there's no point in me buying any of them. I could get another defense drone just for lols. I might get one and yeah, I'm gonna get one and store it. So if I upgrade ship my drone control, that's better. I can now have two drones at once, so no missiles are gonna touch me, which is good because some people have like missiles that fire like four missiles at once. Small rebel ship is docked at the small station. You try to land low, but it spots you. Power up the weapons. Um, <laughs> the sweet irony that I don't actually have any weapons. Uh, defense drones on. See, he's also got defense drones, but it's fine, because I don't have weapons. But he does. Ah, uh, see, look. Mantis people, man. If you want to complete this game, get the Mantis ship. I mean, this one's relatively easy to get. The, um... Shit. 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 Oh, thank God. He's not going for me anymore. It's good. Everything's fine. Hey, there we go. Missiles 2, drone parts 1, and 38 scrap. There's no more life signs again. <laughs> but no, to get the Mantis ship, guys... You have to just take any ship, um, head to the man... Oh, wait, no, 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 no. You get any ship, you upgrade it with a level 2 teleporter and a level 2 med bay, which I'm going to get now, actually. Just when they're a bit weak. Where's my med bay? Because it's good to have a med bay if you have mantis people because you're going to be sending them backwards and forwards a lot. So you might as well you might as well prepare yourself. But uh, you want a level 2 med bay, a level 2 teleporter, and... Then you'll find a ship that has some weird mantis um, war hero on. It's called like He's got like a weird name with loads of K's and shit in it. But um, you have to kill the person who teleports onto your ship, teleport your mantis people across and kill them, and then he'll come. He'll appear out of nowhere. And he'll be like, "Oh no, shit, I'm dying." So you can teleport him to your ship. If you have a level two med bay, you can heal him, and then he'll tell you. Then he'll give you the mantis ship, and then to get the, the ship I'm using, you just do some of the achievements. Not too hard. But the first man to ship him, he has a two-man teleporter, whereas this has a four. But the other one has some weapons on it, so it kind of balances out, but I prefer this one. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we've reached the third sector. We've got a pretty good run. It's civilian, so this will be a nice, easy one to do. So, actually, you know what? Let's... Mm. Yeah, let's quickly whiz through this one. And then I'll call it there, and we'll finish it next time. Oh, I can't... Oh! Oh! Oh, shit! Oh, Jesus! Ah! <laughs> I want another Mantis Man. I'm gonna have to come back to the shop. Let's go kill some people quick. Um, there. <laughs> Free Mantis Man invade is insane. Um, oh, sweet! I get scrap. I might be able to get this Mantis person. Go on! Not an AI! Fuck! Oh, Damn it! Okay, let's jump. Fuck, we'll jump back to the store. I'll tell you what we'll do. We will sell the other defense. Oh wait, we've got a whole repair drone as well. We don't need that. Goodbye. And then we'll buy Thomas the Mantis Man. Oh jeez, should we get him as well? Oh, we need an energy as well. So let's sell the other defense drone. We'll get him. This is perfect. Okay, we'll stick him on engines. We'll stick him in the teleporter. Oh, it's, guys, this is where the ship starts to get powerful. Oh, I'm looking forward to slaughtering the galaxy now. Oh, slug people, fight the ship. Definitely. Now watch this. This is where you become powerful, because they... <laughs> this is it. This is just the entire... There's the oxygen room I was on about. It's not. There's no doors to it, so you can teleport your people over. Smash it, teleport back, job done. It's that easy. Oh. Shit. <laughs> this is why you need to upgrade your shields, because ion weapons are powerful. That rock man's actually rock Okay, with the crew dead, you're able to take the fuel out the storage and rob the scrap. So, pretty much 50 scrap and free fuel. See, 50's a lot. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I almost jumped. That could have been awkward. Um, let's teleport you. Right to there. And teleport you. Thank you. Heal them up. Fix the weapons. This way you need like two NGs, uh, three NGs. One for shields, one for weapons, one for engines. But the good thing is, if I get the engines up, then my dodge chance goes up, so 
makes you OP. It's great. Um, no, we won't do that yet. But we'll get advanced sensors so we can tell where they are. There we go. Send them back to there. And we'll jump on. Because the, the... Is it the Federation of Rebels? Am I the Rebels or what? I can never remember. Oh, well, let's save the ship. Help us! We are being attacked by pirates! I don't know what accent that was or voice. I'm, I'm so sorry. We're going to eat it. The apparent your engaged. See, oh, God. They've got madness people. This could be close. But I've got three of them. So we're going to send him in there. We're going to send a boarding drone in. Oh, the boarding drone's random. But hopefully he doesn't come on top here. Nope. Oh shit, it's 3v3. See, a good thing I can do now is this. Because now it's 4v2. <laughs> there was a sweet irony in that. Con in there. No more ice ones detected. Two missiles, one drone part, 45 scrap. Let's turn that the ship. The captain offers to install a piece of equipment on a ship. It's an ion bomb. Uh, for 20 scrap. Oh wait, no, sweet. So I get scrap for an I Oh, nice. So I actually have a weapon. Bomb weapon requires a missile but does no damage but deals four. Oh, that is great. That is actually quite cool. I like that. So let's bring my guys across before the ship breaks. Oh, that was a bit laggy. I apologize. Oh, my game's slowing down. This isn't good. Let's send them back to there and jump away. Oh, wait. No, no, no. You get on there. <laughs> now we'll jump. Yeah, I'm just going to rush through this galaxy, because civilian ones aren't too great. Uh, too dangerous. <laughs> I'm a puff when it comes to looking after my ship. Don't don't judge me. Please. Sniff. Greetings, traveller. We were crippled by a band of pirates and are now forced to sell our remaining valuable equipment to acquire the necessary... Yeah, you get the idea. Oh, he has cloak. Assistant repair. Yes, this is what I want. Booyah, uh, ship. Oh, no. Wait, is that right? Yeah, equipment. So, if I get rid of my boarding drone, replace it with my system repair. So now I essentially lose a man for fighting. But I can now fix my ship with, um, essentially that thing will go around and find any broken stuff and fix it, so. Should I give, let's give them fuel. They can normally give me something good and back. Yay! 45 scrap. That's enough for, like, 10 fuel. They're idiots. <laughs> oh. Epic music. A rebel ship has been patrolling this region. Soon to revive it begins its assault. Three humans and a boarding drone. Uh... No, this is nothing actually. This is fine. I can do this. Send you across to that. What am I missing power from? Oh, I can have a defensive as well now. Sweet. Ion bomb. Let's do this. I'll show you what this does. Uh, if I put this onto their weapons. It takes a while to charge, and I think it uses a missile. Nope. Oh wait, yeah, it does require a missile, but... Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> they die too quick. Basically, what it does is it just teleports straight on board through the shields, I think. And it will just disable the thing it's attacking, so... Really powerful weapon. That's actually quite a nice one. I'm glad I got that. Deals four ion damage. It's insane. The NG ship starts with something like that, but it does one ion damage, so... <laughs> it's quite powerful. Oh. There we go. I thought my game broke. Just arrived at the long range beacon. Anti ship drone mark two, don't care for that. And scrap. We'll sell their next sector, so we'll go to Zoltan. Uh Zoltan's nice. They're all a bunch of puffs, but they have super shields which really suck to fight against, so we arrive in Zoltan space and I'll continue this adventure next time. So thanks for watching guys, and this is how to defeat FTL the easiest way, in my opinion. So that was long winded. I apologize. Right, see you later guys. Bye!